We're closer to solving the mystery of dark matter because two pairs of black holes smashed together. On the 11th of October and the 10th of November in 2024, gravitational wave observatories around the world detected ripples in space that came from two pairs of black holes smashing together. And scientists, including this Ausgrad PhD student, were able to use that data to refine our understanding of dark matter, particularly with respect to what dark matter is, focusing on one hypothesis, that it's made up of hypothetical particles called ultralight bosons. The key to testing this was in how fast these black holes were spinning. So the fact that we are able to observe such black holes with very high spin enable us to constrain uh, certain boson mass parameter space. So ultralight bosons are the strange hypothetical particles which are extremely small, like trillions and trillions of smaller than that of the electron. They also weakly interact with the ordinary matter, so it's difficult for us to detect them in the laboratory settings. But the fact that uh, the black holes provide the laboratory to test such particles is quite interesting. If such particles are present, they should drain the spin. So we shouldn't uh, actually uh, find black holes with such higher spin. But the fact that we are able to see them makes it interesting because uh, then we can use that to constrain the uh, parameter space. Now I'm sure you're wondering, do we know what dark matter is yet? No, we still don't know exactly what it is yet, but we're slowly narrowing it down. And the fact that we use smashing black holes to do it is absolutely epic. Each detection of gravitational waves brings us closer to understanding how these cosmic giants form and evolve, while also offering a powerful way to test the fundamental laws that govern the universe itself.